Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of We Are the Church, a ministry of daily encouragement from the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. My name is Pastor Bill Johnson. I'm so glad you stopped in this morning. Let's get started. reading friends from the fourth chapter of Paul's letter to the Ephesian church verses 11 through uh, 15. The gifts that God gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry and for the building up of the body of Christ until all of us come to the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to maturity to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery and by their craftiness and deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ. Speaking the truth in love, we must grow up into maturity, into him who is the head is Christ. This is Paul's word to the church, and it's Paul's word for us today. I was listening to a podcast uh, from a, a man, a couple of pastors, uh, one in Portland and one in Melbourne, John Comers and Mark Sayer. And Mark Sayer was talking about some experiments that were done uh, some years ago. Uh, people were um, just wanting to know what would happen if they came to some crowded areas like airport lobbies or, or malls or something like that. And then they just paid 10 or 12 people to randomly run down the middle of that place, yelling and screaming and saying, look out, look out. And, uh, and what they found was that as people went tearing through these places and saying, look out, look out, the, the, the flight instinct in every other person that was there, um, cause them to just get up and start running <laughs> in the same direction as these 10 or 12 people. They might be eating lunch in the food court, they might be reading a paper, they might just be waiting for uh, their next flight, but they just began to look behind them and run as fast as they could, not knowing anything about what was going on, not knowing that it was a prank or, or an experiment. Um, and that's because we as people are connected together. We're uh, a herd animal. We live and die on a, the story of our own uh, life together. And uh, when we see people tearing around and filled with anxiety, it fills us with anxiety even before we know what they're being anxious about. That's in, incredibly important to us right now because we live in an age where we are digitally connected to a central nervous system that is comprised of iPhones and computers and televisions and everything else. And if you're not careful, you get on Facebook or you get on one of these other uh, websites or something and you hear people yelling and screaming, look out, look out, look out at the top of their lungs and they're tearing down the, uh, tearing down the middle of your internet and uh, they impact your life that day. And some of them are not yelling for any other reason than to get you to click on their website and to look further into what they're doing. They're deceivers, they're uh, alarmists, they're, uh, they're just being extremists because they want your attention. Uh, and what they're yelling and screaming about doesn't go anywhere. This is why Paul is saying we need the body of Christ. We need each other. I need you and you need me and we need to sit together and be sober-minded not be blown around, uh, tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine or every wind of, of alarmism that comes our way. We need to settle down, take a deep breath. We need to check in with each other. We need to check in with the scriptures. Mostly we need to check in with God through our prayers. So if you are on the internet today or if you're out and about and you hear somebody yelling and screaming at the top of their lungs, take a moment, uh, take a look around, see if there's anything to it and if it's somebody who's just making noise so that they can be heard you have my permission to ignore them and go back to what you were doing just a little bit of encouragement to uh, stay the course 
and stay with Christ. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for the consistency of your body, the church. We thank you for our friends in faith. We thank you for the scriptures. We thank you that we can pray. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you, O oh Lord, that in a world that is being tossed to and fro, you provide this stable and consistent place in which we can grow in maturity and into the very likeness of Christ who is our head. So we give you thanks and praise on this Wednesday, and we uh, offer these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, have a wonderful Wednesday. This is hump day. Get the work done so you can coast through the back half of the week. And as you're going around and making your way through the day, remember to wash your hands often. Remember to read a psalm. And remember to tell somebody today that you love them. I'll talk to you soon.